Hi, we're Hunter Helpers, and I'm Carly. I'm Kelly. And today we're going to be filming how to groom. This is Major. He's going to be our model today. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay. So, there um, are a couple things that are important for grooming. This cleans your horse, and also it helps get blood circulating. So when you're riding, or just if you don't ride, um, this it helps them circulate their blood better. That gives them a healthier coat. Um, so this is a soft carry comb. Um, there's like hard and soft. There's like the kind of the gel type, which is soft, and there's a hard type, which is like a metal scraper thing, usually used for like really hard mud or during shedding seasons. And um, as you can see, it's kind of circular. And so when you're groomed, you just go in circular motions. Um, it's a hoof pick. It's actually a very special type of hoof pick, which is what I really like because not only does it have the brush, it has this little scraper thing. So when your horse's hooves, <laughs> when your horse's hooves are really dirty and nasty with mud, you can actually just like scrape it off of their actual hoof, and that's really awesome. Um, um, this soft brush is a soft brush. Um, it's usually used for like finishing because after you get all the dirt and all the grime off your horse, you can just brush them down and it's soft and it just kind of makes their coat really smooth. A medium brush. This is a medium brush. Um, you use this between those hard and soft <laughs> brushes, um, kind of like the name implies, but it's again just used. Um, to get a lot more dirt off your horse. And then this is a hard brush. You would use this first after you curry, um, and it just gets all the um, initial dirt and mud off that the curry can get off. You can tell like what's hard, soft, and medium just by feeling the bristles. Um, I can't feel anything right now because I'm obviously wearing gloves, but it's really easy to feel the difference. Okay, so it's kind of doing while I. So we're going to start with the curry comb. I'm just going in circular motions all over him to loosen up the dead hair and dead skin. And would you stop it? <laughs> um, the dirt and the hay. And he's a little bit riled up because it's cold outside. Um, but this is the first step to get all the mud and the dirt off of him. And just make sure that he's all nice and clean. Hey, why are you sniffing so much? <sighs> So what you do is you just use it all over their body, um, and you can use it on their upper legs, but since their lower legs are so bony, you typically don't do that. The next step would be the hard brush. If I don't throw my other brushes everywhere. To get all of the dirt that I loosened up with the curry comb off of them. Um, some horses like really, really super ridiculously hard brushes, like White Major's reacting right now. Um, some horses like Kelly's horse don't really like hard brushes at all. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so um, Major really likes them though, so you just have to be kind of gentle to make sure you don't use on like the hard part of their leg or anything that's really bony. Good rule of thumb is to use anything that's hard on the meaty parts of their body. He really likes the way that feels. Um, but hard brushes, just to get all the dirt off and all that. Um, I think I'm going to skip the medium brush. But you could, if you have more time, you could use the medium brush um, to just get anything you miss with the hard brush. But last is the soft brush. Um, this can be used on their legs, but this just smooths all the hair and gets all the oils going. Um, you can use this on their legs and stuff. Um, just be gentle. He needs his chest done. Um, but this just smooths all the hair out and makes sure it's laying all flat and nice and you can use this on their face, but you need to be really gentle. Personally, I skip it because Major has a pretty sensitive face. Um, and if I'm going to use a soft brush, I'm going to use a really soft face brush. And currently, I do not have one, but I'm buying it right after this video, um, after my ride. So it's just using the brush to make sure he's nice and clean. Um, if you have, don't have a whole lot of time, you really don't have to brush their legs unless you're putting boots or wraps on. Just make sure there's no mud on the saddle area, chest, and the neck. Use it on his face right there. And 
We got a score lock. Next is the hoof pick. Um, some people only pick the back or the uh, back or the front feet, and they skip the back feet or whatnot. We pick all four feet, and if you would lean, stop leaning on me. Um, we're just taking the pick and getting all the dirt and the clumps and the sand out. Um, just make sure you avoid the frog and you can brush out all the stuff that's in the frog. But just make sure that there's no stones or anything that would hurt your horse. Um, and if there's mud on the outside of their foot, you can scrape it off with a little scraper. Don't do that. It's his back leg, he kind of pulls his back leg a little bit sometimes, but hey, Major, 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 Major. <laughs> Major. Um, and for those who don't know, the frog is just the kind of soft V part of their hoof, like the middle V part. If your horse is super ridiculous with their back feet, you can, you don't have to scrape out a butt ton of it. Just make sure that there's no stones. Like Major's doing right now, he's being an absolute butt face. But I'm just making sure I get at least the most of the mud out of it. Back to the front feet. Some people pick in different order. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you're careful and not. I personally like to switch it up a little bit because I have a young horse, and that's always like to keep her guessing. So I know some people do like left front and then go around until the right front, but I'll just like start like with her right back and just kick it out just to keep it right down. Um. But and also, part of grooming for some horses is stretching the legs. This is just to loosen my ears, but please. Stretch, good boy. You don't have to stretch all of your legs. I'm judging his fronts because these get stiff sometimes. Go oh, good boy. Sometimes they lean into the stretch and it's really kind of cute. I'm stiffing his back feet because he's jerking them. Um, but you can also comb, manes and stuff. I have lots of mane combs. I have an addiction. But I'm going to skip that because we're running a little bit late on my time. But that's basically how to groom. Yep. We'll be back with more videos to come soon. I'm Carly, this is Kelly, and we're with Hunter Helpers. Thanks for watching.